hear Brookie in the background. Jeanette. Mark, Zach, Patty. Patty's daughter. <laughs> Cindy. <laughs> Didn't want to say the wrong name. There's a trumpet player over there. Oh my dad. Dad, you love that. There's Dina. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Massachusetts National Cemetery, where we take pride in honoring our veterans and their loved ones. We encourage you to visit your loved one as often as you are able. The cemetery is open for visitors seven days a week from dawn until dusk. And if you need help locating your loved one, there is a kiosk in front of our administration building where you can look them up and print out a map to their location. And with that, we'll have Phil. We come together again to continue our worship uh, that began at, at Trinity Lutheran and to uh, commit to uh, your dad, your granddad, and your mom and grandmother and our family member and our friend uh, and to, to God on this day. And so uh, we join in our committal service, but uh, before we begin that, let me share with you uh, just two readings. Uh, first of all, Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not be in want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. And also a reading from the book of Revelation. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and the sea was no more. And I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, See, the home of God is among mortals. He will dwell with them. They will be his peoples, and God himself will be with them. He will wipe every tear from their eyes. Death will be no more. Mourning and crying and pain will be no more. For the first things have passed away. And the one who was seated on the throne said, See, I am making all things new. Also he said, Write this, for these words are trustworthy and true. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. As far as for prayer. Holy God, holy and powerful, by the death and burial of Jesus, your anointed, you have destroyed the power of death and made holy the resting places of all your people. Keep our brother Jesse and our sister Helen, whose bodies we now lay to rest in the company of all your saints. And at the last, O oh God, raise them up to share with all the faithful the endless joy and peace won through the glorious resurrection of Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you, Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. sure I get them right. All right. See, I can't see their names. <laughs> Ensure and serve in hope of the resurrection to eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ. We commit Jesse to the ground. Earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. The Lord bless him and keep him. The Lord's face shine on him with grace and mercy. The Lord look upon him with favor. Give him peace. Amen. Amen. Ensure and certain hope of the resurrection to our Lord Jesus Christ. We commit Helen to the ground. Earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. The Lord bless her and keep her. The Lord's face shine on her with grace and mercy. 
the Lord look upon her with favor. Give her peace. Amen. Amen. Rest eternal, grant them, O Lord, and let light perpetual shine upon them. Let us pray. Merciful God, you heal the broken in heart and bind up the wounds of the afflicted. Strengthen us in our weakness, calm our troubled spirits, and dispel our doubts and fears. In Christ, rising from the dead, you conquer death and open the gates to everlasting life. Renew our trust in you that by the power of your love, we shall one day be brought together again with our brother Jesse and our sister Helen. Grant this, we pray, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who himself taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. And now may Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit bless you now and forever. Amen. Amen. And always remember, God loves you more. <laughs>